Hey everyone, welcome back to Genius Ford. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Today we're going to walk through setting up Visual Studio Code for web development. If you haven't installed VS Code yet, make sure to check out my previous video where I guide you through the installation process. You can find the link in the description below or click the card right here. All right, now that you have VS Code installed, let's get it set up with some essential extensions that will make web development much easier and more efficient. The first thing we need to do is open the extensions view in VS Code. If you look over here on the left-hand side, you'll see a bunch of icons. The one we're interested in looks like four squares grouped together. Go ahead and click on that. This is where you can find and install all sorts of extensions to enhance your coding experience. Now, the first extension we're going to install is called Live Server. This extension is a game changer because it lets you launch a local development server with Live Reload. That means every time you save your code, you'll see the changes instantly in your browser. No need to manually refresh the page. To get Live Server, just click on the search bar and start typing Live Server. As you type, you'll see it pop up in the results below. It should be the first one on the list. Once you see it, click on the Install button. It'll take just a moment to install, and once it's done, you're ready to go. Next up, we're going to install an extension called JavaScript, ES6 Code Snippets. This is really handy because it provides a ton of useful snippets for modern JavaScript. For example, instead of typing out console.log every time, you can just type CLG and hit Enter. VS Code will expand it into console.log for you. This time type JavaScript in this search bar. Once it shows up, go ahead and click on Install button. It'll take just a moment to install, and once it's done, you're ready to go. Finally, let's install the Bootstrap 4 and Font Awesome snippet extension. If you're working with Bootstrap or Font Awesome in your projects, this extension is a must-have. It gives you quick access to Bootstrap classes and Font Awesome icons through simple snippets. Just like before, go to the search bar. Click on it and type Bootstrap 4 and Font Awesome Snippet. When it appears in the list, go ahead and click Install. Now you're set up to quickly insert Bootstrap components and Font Awesome icons into your HTML. Let's take a quick look at Live Server in action. Alright, if you've already got your HTML file open in VS Code, you're good to go. But if not, no worries. I'll quickly create a new one to show you how. Let's say we want to create a new HTML file. I'll go ahead and click on File in the top menu, then New File. Here, I will type the file name as index.html, hit Enter, and select the save location as my desktop. You can save it anywhere you like. Next, I'll type a sample HTML code. Now, with our HTML file open in the editor, we want to see how it looks in the browser. To do that, simply right-click anywhere inside the editor and select Open with Live Server from the context menu. This will instantly launch your file in your default web browser. Now, here's the best part. Any changes you make to the code will automatically refresh in the browser, so you can see your updates in real time. For example, if I change this heading from home to my first web page, you can see the update happen instantly. On the left side, you can see the live server output in the browser, and on the right side, I'm changing the code. Super convenient, right? And that's how you set up VS Code for web development with Live Server, JavaScript, ES6, Code Snippets, and Bootstrap 4 and Font Awesome Snippet. These extensions are going to make your coding workflow much more efficient. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more web development tips and tutorials. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to see covered. Thanks for watching.